And amid the threat of the coronavirus, you can still safely enjoy being outside here in the city of trees and throughout the Treasure Valley, really through our wonderful park system. Chase, you talked to Boise Parks and Rec Director Doug Holloway about all this, and he says the parks are really a perfect place for all of us to get out of the house. Yeah, Maggie, I mean, it's hard to stay cooped up inside all day long, but the good news is you don't have to. Even Governor Andrew Cuomo in New York, a state where they have close to 1,500 cases of the coronavirus, he encouraged families to get some fresh air in their state parks yesterday. Here in Boise, we have over 90 parks alone. And as long as you stay more than six feet away from others, get out and enjoy some fresh air. And in a time like this now, it really is important for people to continue to get out and, uh, and enjoy what we have here in Boise with our open space and our park system. The spread of coronavirus, it's real. But Boise Parks and Rec Director Doug Holloway says you can still get some fresh air at your local parks. We just uh, tell folks to exercise that uh, social distancing and uh, and to be you know to be smart about um, how they are interacting with uh, with other people and and following all the other CDC uh, guidelines. You have 25 miles of green belt, outdoor gyms, playgrounds for the kids. Dog Island is open too. And all of our uh, dog off-leash and on-leash areas are all still open, so uh, you could take your best friend and still go out and enjoy those facilities. On the trails in the foothills, things can get pretty tight. So if someone comes along, just step off the trail. So if you want to give an elbow bump to somebody as you cross the cross paths with them on a trail, I think that's certainly appropriate to do so. Holloway says the Parks Department is maintaining their regional restroom facilities. And yes, despite the shortage, they have what you need if you got to go. They do have toilet paper. We actually, um, our uh, custodial folks that, that manage those supplies have done a great job of making sure that we're well stocked. So uh, those are there as well as a lot of disinfectant and hand sanitizers. We've uh, beefed that up at a lot of our locations as well. We have nine confirmed cases of COVID-19 in Idaho. Holloway says that for now, parks will remain open. And I know that there is a call to stay indoors and to have as uh, least amount of interaction as you possibly can, but you could still be out in a park and not interact with a lot of people, but just enjoy the greenery and the solitude that really our park system has to offer. Now the parks director, Doug, told me that they are not wiping down and disinfecting the playgrounds or any of the gym equipment any of the gym equipment. Just wash your hands before and after use of those in their park bathrooms and they are keeping those clean, he told me. So it also doesn't it also couldn't hurt to bring your own hand sanitizer and Lysol wipes to wipe those down yourself. And self quarantine is important for our physical health and the spread of sickness, but getting some fresh air and some social interaction is really important for our mental health. So That's right. Just be safe out there. Say hello from afar and give people air hugs. Yeah, yeah. That's Aaron. the way to do it. I'm going to give you a hug, Chase. Thanks, Thank Maggie. You. Love you. <laughs> we don't even hug each other here. I love you, too. <laughs>